Hello one and all. Welcome back to our channel from OpenCon Innovation Lab, Bangalore. I am Divya, one of the managing partner of this firm. Before diving into this week's topic, what are the first thing that comes to your mind when you look at these pictures? One was a video game called CryptoKitties. It was the first of its kind to use blockchain technology to, for the recreational purpose. The other one was a boat ape NFTs that was an avatar and the other one was bold and hungry. It is a NFT based restaurant chain. So our topic for the day is blockchain technology and NFTs. We'll be discussing about how blockchain technology works, what are the differences between NFTs and the cryptocurrency and see what we can offer. Topic for the week Blockchain and Non-Fungible Token Like, Share and Subscribe We post new content every week on Friday. What is Blockchain Technology? It is a decentralized ledger of all transactions where participants can confirm transaction without a need for central clearing authority. The assets we are talking about can be tangible or intangible assets. Tangible assets are our house, car, cash, land and intangible assets can be intellectual property, patents, copyrights and branding. In, usually in the blockchain technology enables the existence of cryptocurrency. What are all the key elements of blockchain? It is distributed ledger technology, immutable records and smart contracts. What are immutable records in the sense you can't tamper with the record? So you might have a question. So if there is a problem with the transaction and all and supposing an error happens, what is next? So usually that error will be recorded. So you have to once again do some other kind of transaction to make it reversed. So just like that it cannot be tampered and reversed. All transactions what you make on blockchain technology Now we'll see how blockchain works. Someone requests for the transaction and that requested transaction is broadcast to a peer-to-peer -peer network consisting of computers where it is also called as node. Then the network of these nodes validate the transaction and the user status using known algorithms. A verified transaction can involve cryptocurrency, contracts, records or other information. Once it is verified, the transaction is combined with other transaction to create a new block of data for the ledger. The new block is then added to the existing blockchain in a way that is permanent and unalterable. So this makes our transaction complete. So here as each transaction occurs, it is recorded as a block of data. Those transactions show the movement of an asset which can be tangible as a, like a product or intangible like an intellectual property. The data block can record the information of your choice like who, what, when, where, how much and even the condition. Each block is connected to the ones before and after it. These blocks form a chain of data as an asset moves from one place to a place or ownership changes hands. The blocks confirm the exact time and sequence of transaction and the blocks link securely together to prevent any block from being altered or a block being inserted between two existing blocks. Transactions are blocked together in an irreversible chain which is also known as blockchain. Each additional block strengthens the verification of the previous block and hence the entire blockchain. This renders the blockchain tamper evident delivering the key strength of immutability. Now, what are non-fungible tokens? In short, NFTs. The meaning of NFT is neither it can be replaced nor it can be interchanged because of its unique properties. Unique property in the sense it is having a digital individual signature. 
So NFT is a digital asset that represents internet collectibles like art, music and games with an authentic certificate created by blockchain technology that underlies cryptocurrency. It cannot be forged or manipulated. Usually these exchange take place with cryptocurrency and they are all placed on Ethereum blockchain. NFTs are individual tokens with valuable information stored in them. Because they hold a value primarily set by the market and demand, they can be bought and sold just like other physical types of art. Usually this NFT's unique data make it easy to verify and validate their ownership and the transfer of tokens between owners. Now we shall see the differences between NFTs and cryptocurrency. NFTs and cryptocurrency are done with the same programming language. So that is where the similarity ends. Whereas NFT cannot be traded or exchanged for one another. Cryptocurrencies are fungible meaning they can be traded or exchanged. They are equal in value. To put it as a use case, you can equate a Bitcoin to so, so and so much US dollars. The same thing that kind of equation can be done with an NFT. Each NFT has a digital signature making it impossible to be exchanged or equal to one another. They are typically held by Ethereum blockchain. So NFTs are created or minted from digital objects that represent both tangible and intangible items like art, GIF, collectibles, tweets and music. Cryptocurrency are trusted means of conducting transactions Having discussed about NFTs and blockchain, what are all the advantages? Anybody can own the NFTs. By investing in NFTs, it is a better way of learning blockchain technology. NFTs are very secure since it is powered by blockchain technology. But is that all what we can hear? The disadvantages are there. What are they? By misinformation, people think that NFTs are an asset class. But it is not. It is just a digital way of saying who is the owner. And the other thing is, uh, because of this much of uh, hyped information and misinformation about them, it might lead to volatility and inflated asset. If any business who is uh, hosting on uh, being hosted on the Ethereum blockchain, if they go out of business, we may lose our NFTs also. And there is a concern with the energy. Like if you are very much bothered about how much is your carbon print left on this mother earth, that is something to be thought about. To own an NFT, since it is powered by Ethereum blockchain, you should have the native currency called as Ether. So people who want to do the trading in other forms of currency might have very limited options about that. So what is your take on blockchain and NFT? Let me know in the comments below. We'll be posting new content every week on Friday. Like, share and subscribe. Stay tuned for next week. Bye.